The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. All right, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis, is from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We happen to be vacationing here in Tucson, Arizona presently, where we have a thunderstorm going on outside, folks. Very unusual to have a thunderstorm in November here in the valley. Well, we're actually up in the mountains. Let's take a quick look here at the uh, German DAX on a longer-term time frame. You can see that's the weekly chart. There's a possibility this thing could break out and really move a lot higher. But if we look at the daily, you can see that we are sitting right at the beautiful butterfly pattern and also the expanding triangle. And just like we're seeing in our stock market, too, that's on the daily. Now, if we move over... To the FTSE, we'll just get it up here and let you take a look at it. This is the four-hour. This thing doesn't trade very much, folks. Uh, so I don't even. I, well, some people have asked me for it, so that's why I'm bringing it in here. You can see we have an ABCD. We're above the 78% level. We got a wide bar. It looks like it wants to make that ABCD up to new high ground, which isn't very far away. That's only about 70 pips. So that's uh, that's not really. When folks, when I when I talk about pips. That's the foreign exchange uh, term for PIP means percentage in price. In other words, a change in price. Uh, and they, ca they call it pips in the, in the foreign exchange. I'm sure we call it ticks or points uh, in the futures markets and stocks. Now, I did want to talk just a little bit about Mr. Z sent an absolute beautiful chart out last night that I had sent a video on a little bit after I had seen this. And we'll just get this up here to let you folks take a look at it. Uh, this is very important, what happened in gold yesterday, folks. Uh, you can see that we completed an ABCD pattern down there at the uh, 1479 level. We're now trading $12 above that. Uh, last night, it gave you a beautiful 61% retracement to buy it. If you wanted to, that would have been around 19, uh, excuse me, 1484. And we got up to 1492 so far to see uh, if this is going to be uh, good or not. But uh, it, it did take out the lows of October the 30th and then uh, immediately has reversed. Now, we need that mark. If the gold is going to be good, it's going to rally more than $17 off the bottom. And that's going to take it above 1498. We get it above 1498, then you're going to have a pretty good idea that, yes, this is a major bottom and we'll have to watch it very, very closely. But uh, that was a really interesting pattern that uh, he had brought uh, to our attention, and we want to thank him for that. Also, uh, regarding the Treasury bonds, folks, uh, yesterday, Mr. Z was on the phone. We were talking about Treasury bonds. We were down at that bottom at 150 uh, just a, just a tad under 158, I think it's 157, 26 or something like that. But let, let's just see what happened last night in the last two days in the open interest in the Treasury bonds. Let's get this up here so you folks can look at it. The only time I look at open interest, folks, is when we're at new highs or new lows. That's when that's really the most important. The last two days in Treasury bonds, we have prices falling and open interest falling. That means the market is strengthening. Shorts are leaving the market. That is what's happening in the Treasury bonds. However, if we look at Treasury notes, the two-year, the four, the two-year, the five-year, the ten-year, all of those are increasing substantially. So you got a real dichotomy here uh, between the bonds and the notes. The bonds are strengthening and the notes aren't. So I'm uh, strengthening to rally, and we've had a good rally. We rallied already. We've already rallied a full point off the bottom. That certainly means something. So we'll see. But uh, very, 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 very oversold market. We've been talking, you know, the last several days it's been oversold and it's continued to be. And whether this bottom is in or not, we don't even, we, we don't know for sure. But you know what, folks? Nobody else does either. That's the real key to looking at some of these things. It's all about pattern recognition. 
Uh, there is a new book out called Great Expectations, written by Greg Zimmerman. It's about James Simmons, Jim Simmons of Renaissance Capital. Very, very interesting. Jim is by far the hot, the best paid and also the most successful of all the hedge fund guys. Over the past uh, three decades, he's averaged 39% a year, blowing away most of the, uh, well, Steve Cohen's up there pretty close. But most of the other competition is is far below that. But here is a question, folks. How long do you think the holding period is for Jim Simmons' trades? Do you want to take a guess? Let's take a little guess in here to see what uh, – to see what happens. Now he's all math. It's all about mathematics. It's very close, Mr. Z. It's two to three days is all he's looking at. They do most of the stuff is about two to three days, folks. And here's a guy that is making you know 39% a year for 30 years, blowing away. You know even Bernie Madoff couldn't do that. He's beaten. Uh, Mr. Buffett and, uh, and Stevie, Stevie Cohen uh, blew away Ray Dalio and some of those big names that you see, but you don't see Jim Simmons on CNBC on an interview. This book is a great book. Uh, if you're interested in small, and, and, and he says in the book, they ask him, he says, why, how, why, why are you so successful? And he said, I found patterns that other people can't see. Gee, what an interesting concept. So I don't know. And he's a mathematician. So the odds of this guy not using the F word, Fibonacci, is very, very slim. So there's something in there that he's looking at. But, you know, many people have tried. Very few people have done it. Now, Tucker, not like Tom. No, Tom is uh, Tom is a is a uh, what do you call it? A. Uh, uh, Volatility trader, he trades. He trades really strong trending markets. Is what he tries to do, and it's not uh, you know. And his his percentage wins are not anywhere near. Uh, they wouldn't. I don't believe. I I can only get through about a third of the book, and I don't think they gave a whole lot of information out. If you want to know the truth, other than just little bits and pieces of it, but those you could pretty much fit together anyway, because uh, there's one other firm there in New York uh, called D.E. Shaw that is even more secretive than uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, than, than Renaissance Capital. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, if you look at Tom's book, he, he trades volatility. And, he, and actually, in these last two days with the market just chopping around, uh, Tom hasn't made any money. He hasn't lost a lot, but he hasn't made any. But when the big moves come, he's usually riding that horse. So I hope you get his book. If you get a chance, pick up Tom's book. He gave it to you for free. It's 181 pages, 45,000 words that gives you some really good ideas of how a super trader operates and adding to winners and not adding to losers of course that's uh, that's the one thing that you that you don't want to do remember folks uh, we're going to try to have Stan Harley on tomorrow if he's feeling better and also on Monday the 11th is armistice day when we have mercury is going to be trans transmitting or uh, tr transiting across the sky which is like an eclipse uh, that'll be on uh, November the 11th, and Norm will be in here telling us uh, about that, which uh, should be uh, quite interesting, and we'll see if uh, we'll get some good information from him on that. So when we get back, we want to talk about the euro. The euro has uh, done something last night that we thought it might do, and it did. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back now, folks, and I wanted to bring to your attention the uh, the euro here. This comes from one of our friends across the pond that have been waiting for this pattern to uh, complete. Let's get it up here so that we can all see this, and then you'll be able to. Uh... All righty. Okay, there we go. The uh, they're posting things that David David White, who's uh, the Mr. Google of uh, the internet, has posted some things. And one of my favorites is from uh, Sir John Templeton: "The four most dangerous words in investing. It's different this time." And other things that other people have talked about. Uh, when when Simmons is working, folks, from what nearly I can tell by looking, if he's trading two to three days most, it has to be something mathematical. And he says that, and he's a mathematician. That's how he got started doing this, and uh, so I don't know if it has any. I know it has nothing to do with the fundamentals and stuff. The guy's a, a chain smoker. My gosh, he's got a cigarette in his mouth all the time, from what they said in the book. So I don't think he cares too much about his health if he's doing that. But who knows? All right, let's move on here. Let's take a look at this British British pound. Let's try it again, Larry. This is the euro, folks. If you look at it really closely, you can see the ABCD pattern. You see the B point where it rallies up. We didn't make a higher high on the 29th than we did on the 15th. That makes that an ABCD pattern, and that's why that has held. That's a very, very important spot. That's exactly what we did in the gold market. Uh, so that's something that we need to pay very, very close attention to. Uh, could you repeat the name of the author of the book? Okay, the, the name of the book is Great Expectations, not the one by Charles Dickens. It's by, uh, his name is Greg Zimmerman. It runs about uh, 20 bucks uh, on uh, uh, what do you call it on Amazon and if you're if you're a prime uh, Amazon person you, you can get it even even a lot cheaper but it's a really uh, really a very very interesting book because you're talking about folks one of the things you do is what you know at least what I try to do is when you find someone that does something better than anybody else you know sort of pay attention you know to what uh, you know to what they're doing. And uh, that's something uh, we mentioned. Bar or, uh, uh, David mentioned Barton Biggs. I happened to be on a panel with Barton Biggs. Oh my God, this was twenty some years ago, and. Uh, 
we were uh, we were talking about the, uh, the the Japanese stock market, of which I knew very little other than the patterns. I knew the patterns pretty good, and uh, we were we were at seven thousand in the Nikkei, as I remember. I don't remember. I have to go back and look at the charts, but uh, he uh, he was so bearish on Japan that uh, he he just didn't think they could even have an up day, and that was the bottom of the market. And here's a guy that's, you know, very, very famous, and you know, he was with Morgan Stanley at the time, I believe, and uh, he passed away just a few years ago. His son's in the business, but uh, anyway, just because someone has an opinion, we all have opinions, and sometimes they're wrong. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. You know, that's what this is all about. Anyway, let's get back to this euro pattern. It's a, just exactly the same as Mr. Z pointed out with the ABCD pattern. You take out the previous lows of the last four or five days, where you'd think there would be stops. And there wasn't, and now the market started to rally. That's telling you, uh, you know, you got to watch that. It, watch those old lows and old, old highs because they're there for a reason. And if they go crashing through there, that's telling you something. But if they just go down there and kiss those lows to say goodbye and snap back above it, we saw that in Treasury bonds yesterday. Mr. Z was on the line. He asked the question, what happened, would I go short below one, below that 158 level uh, looking for much lower prices? And I said, I can't do that because – you know, I'm not a very good, uh, you know, breakout trader. Uh, that's the understatement of the year. So just remember to watch those because the people put their stops in. And believe me, your stops are protected. No one's looking for your one lot or four lot or three lot. Believe me, they're not doing that. These are just thousands and thousands of trades. And in this, the situation with the euro, it's millions, if not billions of trades. So those why that's why it's so you know very very important uh, the other thing is i did mention about that open interest in the treasury bonds that has been dropping for the last two days and uh, but that's against what's happening in the notes of the two year the five year and the 10 year the open interest has been uh, increasing so that's uh, some of the things that we're paying uh, pretty close attention to here this morning as we're looking at these charts okay now let's move on here to the next one, which is the chart from Enzo over in Italy. I wanted to bring this up again because someone asked me to bring the chart up. Uh, Ruby's asking a question, Larry, what is what percentage is considered good for a successful trader? Do you mean return on investment or uh, I don't think the wins losses means anything. But if, if you can if you can beat if you can beat the rest of the market, you know, eight or eight or nine percent, I think that would be very, very good for a successful trader. Now, what I do is I'm, you know, I'm basically a short-term pattern recognition trader. I look for moves for three to five days at the most, sometimes bigger ones. Those are the ones that usually get me in trouble, Ruby. But, uh, you know, we catch some, you know, like we, we caught the hogs and, you know, we caught the gold and a few others. But a lot of them are just, uh, you know, nits and pieces. I, I average about two out of three. I have about out of a hundred. Well, let's say out of a hundred trades, I'll probably have 62% winners, and I'll have a whole bunch of break-evens because I'm always interested in putting the break-even stops, you know, nearly as close to as I can to uh, some of these things. So that's what I'm really trying to uh, to do. But it's all about risk control, folks. I I made up my mind many many years ago that I didn't want to. Uh, you know, stand there in front of a train and, you know, <laughs> that's why I haven't shorted the stock, the stock market yet. I mean, I, I saw that big gap up. I have to respect that. We're, we're trading right at the target, folks. That ABCD pattern and that E-mini weekly comes in at, uh, you know, 3076 and we're trading. I think we're trading right near 3076 right now. So nothing's changed. But look at this chart. Uh, oh, dear, I didn't post it. Let's get it up here. That's not very smart, Larry. Let's get this up. Yeah, trading without a stop is like either using it nor a belt or suspenders. Jesse Livermore, you're absolutely – you know, folks, when you're trading without a stop, what you're doing is you're telling the market that I know more than you do and I don't have to be afraid of you, and he doesn't like that. But look at this chart here, folks. This is a daily, a cash S&P. You can see the multiple ABCD patterns up there. The target was 3080. We hit 3085 in the futures. Uh, the, the cash was pretty much right 
right there too. So it hit all of those numbers up in here. So that's it. Now, if this were a transit day, like we're going to have on November 11th, when Mercury is going to be transiting across the sky, which is equivalent to an eclipse for Mercury, you will be uh, that I would be heavily short. But right now, I'm just watching to see uh, what's happening. We've been waiting. We've had a nice rundown in uh, some of these uh, things, like you know, we've been waiting for a big move down in gold, which we've seen that, and uh, silver's also you know come down pretty good. The euro's been chopping around. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, someone's asked a question about the cattle, folks. I didn't do anything in cattle. Uh, when we had, let's just get that up here because this was the one that Rich Anderson, and we'll get Rich on just as soon as he gets back in the trading mode. Let's just get this up here. He's taking a little break right now. And if you'll notice here in the cattle, uh, we made that A, B, C, D pattern right at the bottom, folks. Look at that. That was at 98.50 in cattle. We're now trading at 116. That's a, that's a big move. And we haven't had any pullback. Look at that. There's just one day where we had a little bit of a pullback. 877-927-6648. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you and your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I just got a real interesting uh, tidbit of information from our good friend Rich Anderson. He's listening to the show, so hopefully if he has a chance, he will get back to us and come in. But he's forwarded on, uh, we get the letter, of course, of Dennis Gartman, one of the most prestigious guys in the business. And Dennis has posted his fear greed index like he does every day. And you'll notice here that uh, we are at the emotions driving the market. You'll notice that we are at the 89% level. Uh, that is, uh, you know, that's, uh, you can see we're pretty close to that high level, which is uh, 86, which is extreme greed. And remember, as they, Gordon Gecko said in uh, Wall Street, greed is good. It's only good if it keeps going higher, boys and girls. And these markets seem to want to do that, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what we're looking at here with this. This was updated uh, uh, yesterday morning, so I imagine with the market up again today, it's probably going to be a little bit. Uh, Ivan Boski there. I happened to see Ivan Boski at Drexel, Drexel uh, more than once because he was in the Milken building, and uh, that was back in the old days. <laughs> oh, dear, who knows? We'll see. Um, Let's uh, let's talk. Hold on one second, folks. I'm trying to get this frog out of my throat. Uh, just a second here. If anybody has any questions, 877-927-6648. That's one of the things. Uh, if you need to call in, it would be a good idea. We can answer any questions for you if we can. We've covered the euro. Oh, here's what we want to cover. This is a very interesting one. Uh, also from one of our friends, Mr. Randy Kay, uh, sent in a really neat a chart about the commodity index, the CCI. You'll notice here, folks, this goes back over the last six years. You see those red arrows like you see? That's a trend line. That's a valid trend line. And the reason why it's valid is it hits it. And each of those numbers is going to be a Fibonacci point. If you don't believe me, why don't you go and do the calculations yourself? And now what we've done is you notice that little green circle that's there. We have popped up above that. That's actually a pretty good sign. And if you look at the bottom, where he's looking at the relative strength, you'll see that there's been a divergence in relative strength, which is also a positive sign. So some of these things are starting to turn. We've already seen it in coffee. Cocoa's been going up for quite a while, but coffee has been a heck, of, heck has had a heck of a move. So the one that's still down and you know still down and dirty is the cotton. You know it doesn't doesn't seem to have any friends, but uh, that that could change in a moment. Uh, people have asked me. Well, people one person and ask me if uh, the uh this thing with China and this trade deal. Folks, I think that was, that's a magician's trick. You know, see what's happening in my left hand while your right hand's doing something else? I don't believe any of that stuff that goes on in the news anymore, and especially lately. It just doesn't uh, doesn't make any sense to me. So that's the main thing. Uh, question about the gold. Folks, uh, the gold, we, we had a low, folks, in the gold. Let's just, let's just round it off at uh, 1480. Okay, now the harmonic number in gold is 34 half that is 17 that's the key figure to look at so if we rally more than 17 dollars so if we go uh, 80 17 that's 97 if we clear above 97 say at 1500 that's telling you that gold has made a major bottom down in there other than that this is nothing more than a uh, bounce off the bottom that's all it is because it's not it shouldn't rally more than 14 dollars off the bottom i i don't know what the high has been in gold today but uh my guess is it's not going to get much above $14. That would be all I would be looking at. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, oh, you mean in the S&P? Uh, there is. At, at 3059, 3060, you're right. There is a small ABCD there, dear. And it could certainly get there without too much trouble. But who knows? I don't know. But you know what? Nobody else does either. That's the whole key. But it's, it's coming down, and that's the key. So let's move on here to the next one and uh, get up here. Hold on one second here. We might have a caller coming in here. Uh, do you play, uh, please display your hourly chart. Uh, oh, the bonds are saying, uh, play the hourly chart and show what higher price to gain on long. And this is about the bonds, Mr. Z? Yes, yes. I, we, we, we did some of that yesterday, but we'll do it again. Here, let me get the let me get the old Bondoli chart up today. Here, we'll do it. We'll do it the old. We'll do it the funny way here. First of all, I'll post what the. Uh, 
what the AI program was was showing today. You know, see, we did have a positive expectation seeing bond, but watch the last part of the day. But that's when it's at least uh, active. But if let's well, let's just get this hourly chart up here. I think there was the four hour that we were doing that was showed us so much. Yes, yes, this is where we are here. Hold on, Mr. Z. I got this chart up, and then we'll we'll see uh, where we are. Uh, okay, let's get this up here, and we'll bring this up. All right. Okay, you see, we went down and we took out those lows at 58. That was back last uh, last week in October. We took those out. Now we've rallied. We've rallied a full point. In the, in the Treasury bonds. Okay, now if this is really bearish, because you can see here, look at the look at this very, very closely. I'll repost it so you can see it a little bit better here. If you look at this real closely, you can see that this uh, ABC structure from going back to September down into uh, into early October at the 78% level, that ABCD measures to 154 and change, and the last one measures to 154 and change. So that's where I think it's going. So watch the rally here because, uh, you know, the, the biggest, the, let, just, just let me f do the calculation here to get to 382. All right, the key level here to watch uh, on the bonds will be at, uh, if it breaks a, a 115, if it gets above 159.10, if it gets above 159.10, that would be above the 382 retracement, and that would say that yes, this has made a pretty good bottom down in here. Now we did not take out the bottom of September as of yet, folks. Did you see that? That was at 57, uh, 5716. Our low yesterday was 5728. So um, that's the key one because if we take that out, then we're heading to 154. No matter how you look at the notes and bonds, folks, on a longer chart, they they look bearish. Interest rates are going higher, not lower. So that's the the main thing of uh, you know what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things. So I hope that helps, but we'll have to. Uh, We'll have to wait and see, you know, how this is going to unfold. That's uh, pretty much it. Okay, let's see if there's any other questions that we might have here, and then we will move on. I wanted to cover a couple things that people have asked me uh, about the. Uh, I hope that. Let me ask Mr. Z if that. I hope that covered Mr. Z. Did that? Uh, uh, is that is that pretty much the same that happened? Uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, I don't remember here. Okay, good. I hope that helps. Anyway, that was a really great chart last night, Mr. Z. Thank you very much. I was looking at that, and uh, when you sent it to me, I said, wow, this when someone like uh, confirmations. Uh, I'm actually... Uh, I'm, uh, well, the Russell's been the weakest, uh, Tucker. There's no question about that. It's uh, let's just get that up here and take let the folks take a look at it on the big picture here, because of all the indices, that has been the one that has uh, been by far the weakest. If we get up here and just look at this on the longer term basis, you know, it never even came close to new highs. You can see here we had these three lower bot three lower highs in here. That's that one three five pattern for. Uh, what we call the uh, dog on it. What's the darn name? Index name? Uh, shucks, I don't know. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, someone's asked a question about uh, how do you handle fear in the markets? Folks, remember that there's four fears, and we've talked about these, you know, fear of missing money, fear of losing money, fear of being wrong, fear of getting out too soon. I can't remember the fourth one. Uh, uh, I can't remember the fourth one. Somebody will remember it. But all these fears are, are they're, they're silly because those are things that we have to uh, go through every time. You know, it's uh, a fear of missing out. Anyway, those are those are you have to go through those. You just face it. That's all you have to do. You know, it's uh, it's really uh, it's really quite amazing. Uh, one of my friends' father-in-law is a uh, he was very very afraid of heights. So do you know what he did? He he enrolled in the Air Force to become a, in the Army to become a paratrooper, <laughs> jumping out of airplanes to 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 get rid of his fear of heights. Well, it worked, and he made it. So that's uh, very very important. I want to look at a couple of things here that we've followed all for quite some time here, folks. We're going to look at these net these uh, Fang stocks because they have been acting uh, very very. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, yeah, the, the hogs are holding good. They're holding good at 66.55. I do like those. They've held up. They held that 64 level, Ruby, just like we had hoped. So that's it. But let's take a look here at Netflix. You can see here it's acting. It's a much weaker than market stock. It's just, uh, you know, not uh, not doing a whole lot. So that's a very important one. Uh, the next one we want to take a look at here is uh, Amazon. Even though we had that hundred and some dollar, uh, what time does that come out, uh, Terry? When is that uh, natural gas inventory? I can't read. Is this today, Wednesday? Oh, yes, it is natural gas inventory time. When does that come out? I don't even remember. Uh, but uh, not to worry. Let's move this up here. There we go. Hold on here a second. You can see Amazon. Uh, we've had a nice rally. We rallied almost $100 a share from uh, the low that we made after the uh, little bad of uh, 1030. I think it is 1030, but I think that's uh, – yeah, tomorrow is uh, – uh, Today is oil. Oh, to, oh, today is oil. Hey there. Okay. Let's make a correction, folks. The inventory report today is for oil. 
That's at 1030, and I believe the natural gas is for tomorrow. That's uh, why it caught me by surprise. Not a problem, folks. I get surprised a lot, so that's not a big deal. All right, let's move on to the next one here, and that is uh, Facebook. Actually, uh, had just completed a very nice uh, – you'll be, you'll be punished severely, Terry. <laughs> you'll notice here we just made an ABCD Gartley up there at the 707 level, very close to the 618. Whoa, boy, you should hear the thunder, folks. We might be off the air here. Boy, this is really loud. Son of a gun, shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, that's a that's a big one today. Woo. That's unusual for us to have a thunderstorm here in the uh, in Tucson with that. Okay. No, there's no way you could have heard that. Did you really hear that? Oh, you heard it and you're in Alaska. Okay. Okay, Grove. All right, I'll put you on the list now, Bubba. <laughs> All right. Let's uh all right. Hey, Steve, thanks for sending me that 10-pound uh, salmon. That was really nice of you. Oh, let's move on here to the uh, next one. That's uh, This is another one that's been on the watch list, and that's the Google. And you'll be able to see here that uh, you have this uh, a beautiful ABCD pattern up there. We backed off a little bit from that level, not too much. And then finally, the big daddy rabbit of all of them, which is uh, Mr. Appel. Let's get it up here because it's still way up here. Remember our target on Apple with all these multiple ABCD patterns on the weeklies, monthlies came in at uh, 245 and we're trading above that by about 10 bucks. So uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, Mr. Z's telling us about the Tucson radar. What is it saying here today? You don't see any storms in here very much. No, that's, there's hardly anything there. Why do they show storm? Because it's it's really thundering and raining here. This is uh, you better check your weather service there, Mr. Z. This one's not uh, this one's not right today. Of course, the weatherman is like anybody else; it can be wrong too. All righty, let's move on to something that someone asked me about, and that is the U.S. dollar index. We cover this all the time. Wow, Sarah, that is thunder, isn't it? Wow. Oh, it's not raining. It's just a lot of thunder right now. That's all we're getting. The, so we did rain a little while ago, but let's move on here. The reason why I say that, because if I get knocked off the air, you'll know why. So <laughs> you did hear it again. Sarah, this microphone's sensitive enough they can actually hear that. Uh, wow. Well, you notice the support at 9,700. Very, very important. We sent videos on this. We talked about it. We did everything we could but stand up and scream, and we've held that level, and now we're trading around 9,750. The real key today is going to be, folks, in that, uh, the what do you call it? The, uh, oh, shucks. The, uh, uh, boy, I lost my train of thought here. It's in the euro. If that euro it, that, that we talked about, let's just get it up here. Well, this is really important because, well, it's important to me. Here's the euro. We're just going to bring this to your attention again just to give you something to watch at. All righty, let's get it up here. Here's the euro. All right, and as you can see here, we made that low down there at 110. Uh, 110.60, and now we're rallying a little bit. Now, the thing that's the real key here, we took out those stops from October 21st. We didn't go anywhere, but you see those two, you see those two, these are four-hour charts, folks. So you see those two really big swing. We went from 111.30.50 all the way down. We dropped 70 pips straight down, and now we're having a little bit of a bounce. Those major big moves down like that, they have to be respected. Just like we respect the gap that we saw in the S&P uh, two days in a row, right? Okay. Uh, that They have to be respected. Now, they're, well, I don't have to do anything you don't want to, but I'm a technician, folks. So all, all I can all I can go on because I don't listen to the news and I don't, uh, you know, you send me some stuff here and there and I take a look at it. But uh, I, I look at the charts. If the charts tell me that that pattern is complete, then I'll say, yeah, well, that looks like an interesting one. So that's neither here nor there. So let's. Uh, Let's sort of pay attention to that because that'll be a very, very uh, interesting one to do. Now, there's been uh, – Al tells me that the lines have finally cleared up, folks. Uh, the call-ins were – oh, Al, Alan said we had the most call-ins we've had in a long time today. And, wow, that was lightning. Did you see that? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Woo! This is really amazing here. This is uh, – whoa, 
there's another big thunderstorm. Whoa, even I can hear that one. <laughs> well, who knows, who knows where we'll be tomorrow, folks. Uh, Let's keep a very, very close eye. Uh, uh, sunny and, and uh, 87 degrees in St. Petersburg. Well, good for you. Well, we got uh, we got thunder and lightning here, but the rain stopped. Well, we're just to uh, see what's going on here. Uh, two things, folks. We're coming to the end of the show. The main thing to watch. 14, 1495 in the gold. We get above that, it's got a chance to rock and roll. So watch the pullback. See if you find a little ABCD in there, it might be pretty good. The euro, watch it closely because if we make new lows now, that's going to be a really bad sign. So keep that in mind also. Very, very important. Okay? And we've got a break coming up here in a bit. And then after that, after that, I would probably have to call the fire department and see if the lightning did any damage. Uh, it didn't strike because I didn't hear the strike. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I would like to solve the mystery of that thunder and lightning, folks. We just had a hailstorm here. We're in, we're in the midst of it right now. The size of, uh, you know, about half the size of a golf ball, but, boy, it was really coming down. That's unusual here because, you know, it's not usually that close. Uh, okay, how do you, the AI partner developer is, uh, well, I'm working with Alan Weissman and also uh, John Jameson. The original one was Dennis Regan, and there's several in between. But I've never heard. Yeah, it's really heavy here, folks. It's very heavy hail. And uh, I'm probably going to lose electricity here pretty soon, so we'll see. The overall grain markets are starting to weaken up, folks. So, uh, yeah, that's well. The problem is here in the office, there's a uh, skylight. And that skylight is plexiglass or whatever it is. And when any type of rain, especially hail, hits it, it's like a... Uh, well, I wish I did. I've never found anybody to do it right. You know, <laughs> that's always been looking for someone, but never been able to find anybody to automate it. So that's what we're looking at today. Any other questions that we might have? Um, oh, uh, Mr. Z asked whether I trade the one, the RMB versus U.S. dollar. No, I do not yet. As of yet, Mr. Z, that's mainly because I just got too much on my plate. I follow the euro, the pound, the yen, the Swiss. And the Canadian dollar and, of course, the U.S. dollar index, those are the ones I follow. The RMB is getting very, very big, so it, it will be followed soon. But right now, I haven't really, really done anything, you know, with that. So that's pretty much what I'm watching here. Yes, that, that it's because of the uh, the skylight that's there. It's uh, yeah, and, and it's really heavy, folks. I mean, it's <laughs> – in fact, Sarah is hiding under the bed right now. Oh, no, wait. She's back in the kitchen. Okay. Let's uh, – but that was really uh, – you should have heard it when it first came. It was just literally shaking the house. There was so much hail coming down. But now it's uh, it's backed off uh, a little bit. But that's highly unusual for us to have that kind of weather. Anyway, no matter what, we're going to try to have Stan Harley on this week. And then later in the week, we're going to try to also have uh, Rich Anderson – so, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.